In this workbook, we have data validation. In column A, we can select a city from a drop-down list. And in column B, we've got dependent data validation. So depending on the country you've selected, you can see that country's cities in a drop-down list. If there's no city selected, we show a list of world countries. And this is done with data validation using the indirect function. So here it's looking to see what's in the adjacent cell, and the list that appears is based on that. And this works great, except that if the cell that we're checking is empty, then we can, even though there's a list of valid cities here, we could type Buffalo, and we don't get an error message. It's just accepted because this cell is blank. Now to fix that, we can select those cells and go to Data Validation. And on the Settings tab, there's a checkbox for Ignore Blank. Now if we remove that check mark, it's not going to ignore the fact that A4 is blank anymore. And so now I'll select a valid city. But if I try and replace that with Buffalo again, now I get an error message. So it's not ignoring the blank cells anymore. It's checking to make sure that this is a valid entry. However, there's one slight drawback to this. If you use the circle invalid data feature, now that we've told it to stop ignoring the blanks, it's going to mark any blank cell that has data validation here as invalid. And to get rid of those circles, we can go back and clear them. But I would prefer to stop people from entering invalid data by turning off that ignore blank. And I rarely use the circle invalid data feature, so I'll turn off ignore blank to prevent people from entering bad data when the adjacent cell is blank.